Use a needle with suture material attached, clipped to a needle holder, and the prepared imitation skin. Take the tissue forceps in your left hand and the needle holder in your right hand. Ensure that the needle tip is facing downwards and towards you. Use the tissue forceps to lift up the skin on the far side of the incision. Let the needle penetrate the surface of the imitation skin on the far side, approximately 3 millimeters from the margin of the incision, at an angle of 90 degrees to the surface of the skin. Let the needle penetrate both the epithelium and the dermis. Assist the emerging needle through the tissues with the needle holder or tissue forceps, and then deliver a reasonable section of suture thread. Reclip the needle holder with the needle tip facing downwards and towards you. Lift up the imitation skin on the near side of the laceration using the tissue forceps. Insert the needle in the depth of the tissue on the near side, exactly opposite the spot where the needle emerged previously. Try to mirror the course of the needle on the two sides. Deliver the needle completely out of the tissue, including most of the suture thread, but leave a section of thread free. Tie an instrument square knot and cut the loose ends. Leave a long enough piece of suture material beyond the knots to facilitate easy removal of the sutures at a later stage. Alternatively, the interrupted suture can be placed as follows. Let the needle penetrate the surface of the imitation skin on the far side, at an angle of 90 degrees to the surface. Let the needle penetrate both the epithelium and the dermis. Do not unclip the needle holder. Lift up the imitation skin on the near side of the incision with the tissue forceps. Insert the needle in the depth of the tissue on the near side, exactly opposite the spot where the needle emerged from the far side. The course of the needle on the near side should mirror the course of the needle on the far side. Deliver the needle completely out of the tissue, including most of the suture thread. Leave a section of thread free on the surface of the skin. Tie an instrument square knot and cut the loose ends. Leave a long enough piece of suture material beyond the knots to facilitate easy removal of the sutures at a later stage.